Okay, so I'm just going to make a short video here on uh, die grinders and um, explain them to you. So this is a die grinder that hooks up to your compressor. If they're all quarter, this is quarter inch, the shank that fits inside here, okay? So don't be confused between the one-eighth. The one-eighth burrs fit inside your Dremel, the quarter inch fit inside your um, die grinders, okay? So this is an air one, you know, you know, I suggest you have a big air compressor if you're going to try and use something like this, like a, one of those big... 220 watts or whatever they are this is a dewalt makita make cordless one this is a dewalt one this has an eyeball burr in here eyeball carving burr i made so you can get them cordless this is the makita i don't know what model this is but this is the slower makita but this is very good die grinder for the very beginning wood carver you know if you want to start upgrading from the dremel and start doing bigger carving this is a great die grinder see it's got the black handle now this is the one that I want to talk about this is the GD 800 C this die grinder this thing's killer this is the die grinder out of all die grinders this thing just rips GD 800 C trust me it rips so fast why do you think my cut cuts all burrs here and not on this or this or this because i use this one all the time i want to say something for the people in the uk there's been a few people that have ordered this die grinder okay and the call it has not been a true quarter inch it's been smaller i think it's been 600 millimeters when you're going to metric okay the one, the quarter inch, I think it's 635 millimeters that fits the true quarter inch, not the 600 millimeter call it. So be very careful in your, if you're in the UK ordering this because this burr, the quarter inch cut saws or saber tooths will not fit inside the, the 600 millimeter call it. Okay, so make sure you get the one that says 635 or it's 634. But if you do get the, six, the one with the 600 collet and you're having a problem getting these burrs into the collet because you got the one with the, the, the smaller collet, you can always order a new collet. I don't know the part number for it, but if somebody watches this video, can you please leave a comment below and I'll pin it to the top with the collet number for the true quarter inch. So what I'm going to do, oh, how can I not show this? How can I not show that? GD 800C. I was told not to say anything, but um, a good friend and a great subscriber, David Grass from Texas, bought this and sent it to me as a surprise. Can you guys believe it? Can you believe it? I got two monsters. Two of them. These things just rip. David, I cannot thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. You know, these, I want to tell a little story. These die grinders are, are, are not cheap. I think David paid $300 American for this, plus $70 shipping to get it to me because he's in Texas. These die grinders are not cheap. And I always wanted one. And I couldn't afford it. It's like $400 and something dollars here in Canada, I think. I couldn't afford it. So I, I was on Marketplace. And I seen one for sale for 150 bucks in Vancouver. It was rush hour traffic. I didn't have, I only had about $200 to my name. I rushed to Vancouver, spent the $150 and got this. It was brand new. The guy used it two times. Goes to show you. Anyways, I wanted to tell that story. So I don't have a lot of money. And David Grass, this, thank you, I just can't thank you enough. It's, it's over the top. It's way too much. But I thank you so much. I'm going to show it on all my videos. I'm going to name it. And I'm going to use it all the time. I'll put this one aside. I'll start using this one. David wants to see if I can break this. And I said, not a friggin' chance. Another thing with these collets. So David, thank you so much again. I cannot thank you enough. This thing's so powerful. It even has a handle to put here on here because this thing will this thing is a ripper man it's got so much power you guys can do the specs yourself online google it's got so much power 
got the handle. So, but anyways, I'm so excited here. Slow down, Jordy. These collets are double locking collets. So you spin it, okay? It will feel like it's tight and your burrs, it will feel like it's tight, but your burrs not locked in. You gotta, it will tighten up once, then it will go loose and keep tightening it, tightening it. It's a double lock system, okay? Just trying to remember that too for these. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bother using this one or this one. I don't have a big enough compressor. I'm gonna uh, start off with this one. I'm gonna put this cut saw, it's pretty new. Guys, if you wanna get these cut saw burrs, the quarter inch, just go down below. It will take you to the cut saw site, use the code C's and you'll save yourself 5%. I'm just gonna carve a wood spirit. I got a piece of wood uh, root head set up, pimple head. I'm gonna start off with this one, show you how fast this one cuts. Then I'm going to use the one David Grass got me. Okay, so here's your standard Makita die grinder with the, a fairly new cut saw bit on here. I'm going to use this exact same bit on both die grinders. I'm going to start off with this one. I don't know if you guys are going to be, really be able to tell the difference how much faster and more torque this one has than this one has on video. But trust me, this thing is a friggin' speedboat, tugboat, barge friggin jet ski and this one's just like a little dinghy compared to this one you guys you don't have to have the makitas too you can always go to your harbor freight buy a cheaper one to start off to see i don't suggest buying the if you're in canada i don't suggest buying the the mastercraft ones from canadian tire because they're just junk but if you if you can't afford this one's like 140 canadian 160 canadian if you can't afford an expensive one find a cheaper one just to give it a try okay so this is a piece of uh older it's a pimple head i call this i'm gonna call this guy pimple head it's um you can see the friggin things in it it's a root ball and i'm gonna carve a wood spirit here but what i think i'm gonna do first i'm gonna get a chainsaw and i'm just gonna clean some of this bark off because you can't really tell when i'm cutting through the bark but once i cut into the wood maybe you'll be able to see um the difference between the cutters, between the die grinders. Okay, you can see I got the wood spirit uh, drew on here. Guys, if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit with a Dremel or chainsaw, I got lots of videos up. So I got the die grinder here. So what I'm going to do is start off with the standard Makita one. I'm not going to be able to time this or anything. I'm not going to be able to talk because I'm going to be wearing my dust mask. This is the trend. It's got air filters in it. See right there, and it pumps air into the mask. This is like 500 bucks Canadian, or 400 bucks. But I'm telling you, this thing kicks ass. I know you look like an alien when you wear it. It's got a big head, but who cares? It's not about how you look. It's about how you feel when you're carving, comfortable and everything. And be safe. So I'm gonna do one side with the first Makita around the eye, and then cut down here. And then I'll do the other side with the other one. You guys can see, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in the power.
Okay, I know my microphone on my phone here is kind of screwed up, but this is kicking ass grass. I got the same burr on here. Now I'm gonna cut the other side with the uh, the, the killer, the kicking ass grass. And I'll say this one does come with a speed control, okay? Okay, so there is pimple head done. Um, I rushed it. I, I should have slowed down coming to the eyes, but whatever. It's all right. Pimple head. So, back to the die grinders. If you can afford to get this GD800C, get it. If you want to speed up your carving. If you can't afford it, get yourself the standard Makita die grinder. I don't know what it is in America, but you can't afford this. Get yourself a Harbor Freight one to start off. I don't know how long it's going to last, but if you want to save up a few more bucks, get the Makitas. Absolutely. This one, grass, kicking ass grass. I can't thank you enough. It was over the top. It was too much, but I'm, I'm so grateful. And uh, 
I just can't thank you enough. And everybody else, I'm so grateful for, um, I hope you could see the difference between this and this on the video. I won't be able to tell until I edit, but I think you should. Thanks everybody. Carbon Fusion, over and out. Oh yeah, so it's only like 2.45 p.m. here. Maybe I'll carve another one. Got this piece of uh, old red cedar. That's an old boom pole or something. Maybe I'll carve a, a hole head. Got this hole in there. You see there's a bunch of rot in there. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'll show you guys what I'm done. Okay, so there's pimple head and there's hole head. Hole head, holio head. Man, this wood kept on chipping off. So you, you, like I say in my other videos, just perceive, keep at it, and just get her done. See you later. Grass, can't thank you enough. You better send me a text telling me to shut up, stop saying it, because I'll keep saying it every video. And uh, just carve Rob. We need more uh, videos. And Ben's studio on the lake. We need more videos. Jesus, I can't, I can't keep holding the fort.